Hi grade 10 student. So in this video, we are going to do a data's ledger account. So please make sure that you watch until the end of the video so that you will gain more knowledge about how to calculate a data's ledger account. So I come with the question paper that was written on March 2022. So this uh, question paper is from KwaZulu Natala. So I make sure that I did the different provinces so that at least you can be able to treat the different kind of question paper so that you will be ready for your test or for your examination. Okay, let's read uh, our questions that we have. Okay, they said it's a data ledger and we also have question of for internal control and ethics. The following information was extracted from accounting record of Bonyana traders on, 20, on, on February 2022. Required number one. 3.1. Prepare the data ledger account of Temba Mbele for February 2022. 17 marks. Okay. Then number 3.2. We are going to answer it after this one. Alright. So we are going to prepare our data ledger account. So let me give you some basic of what is about a data ledger. A data ledger is the account that we record for example a client that purchased from us on credit in other words if we have client which is called L, this person we have to open account for 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 for, for L so that we can be able to calculate everything when he come and take inventory to us, we are going to record that he take inventory and tomorrow maybe he paid a certain amount. We are going to record that this area recorded a paid so much amount. Then he left with so much so that we will be able to know that um, this client is owing us or this client has already paid his debt. So that's what that is all about a data ledger account. So in this question, we are going to prepare for Tembambele. Tembambele is our customer who purchase on credit to us. This customer does not purchase using a cash. So a data is an asset. In other words, when we talk about an asset, guys, if you still remember accounting equation, assets increase on the debit and decrease on the credit. In other words, I'm trying to say that we have a debit and credit. Simple means that when it comes to debit side whatever that we're going to record on the debit side we are indicating that uh, the debt of this person is increasing if this person paid or the debt is decreasing we are going to record on the credit side that's the meaning of debit and credit okay i can also show it here it's gonna be plus here and minus here simple after that we record the balance okay number one they said Balance owed on 1 February, it was 27, 23,700, okay? I can't be able to see it clear here because of a light. It's 23, it's 23,700. We record it under balance and we also indicate it a date. It's 1 February, under detail we indicate that this is the balance, okay? It's a balance brought down, okay? On the debit and credit, we are not going to write anything when we record the balance. Okay, number five. Issued invoice number 401 to Temba Mbele for goods sold less 4% trade discount. In other words, uh, this, this uh, person purchased inventory to us which means that liability is going to increase his liability is going to increase is increasing his debt which means that we're going to record it on the debit side because we give him a what an inventory when we issued invoice simply means that we give a customer what a stock okay but you have to take care of four percent trade discount because we can't record ten thousand ten thousand is not the one that this person is owing this person is owing 10,000 but we subtract what 4% discount simply means that uh, Okay, we're going to indicate it here. Let's write a date on 5 February 
we in we indicate invoice number invoice number four or one okay and this is data's general data's general is general that we record a debt if a person purchase on credit we record under data's general okay now remember i said that we're not going to record a ten thousand but we're going to record a ten thousand multiplied by instead of this person uh, paying full amount is going to pay 100 minus 4 which is 96 over 100 which means that this person is going to pay amount of 9600 he's owing us 9600 simple as that okay which means that after that you have to say because this side is debit you are going to add it with what with balance which means that this amount 23000 plus 9600 is going to give us 33300 simple as that okay let me rub here so that we can have a space for another calculation now let's go to number 2 issued receipts number 210 okay uh, to tembele for payment account Okay, this is amount of 21,750. This person has paid his debt, which means that it's going to, to subtract. We are going to subtract here. It's going to be 21,750. Okay, and we write a date. It's 15, and we indicated that this is receipts. Receipts to 10. Okay is cash receipt general because we receive what a cash and because it's on the credit it's a minus we are going to say 33 minus 21 is going to give us 11,550 okay and we proceed to the next one uh, the next one is on 17 okay issued a credit note a credit note means that a customer has returned a good which means that the, 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 the debt of that that person is going to be deducted okay he issued a credit note number 260 for goods returned by tembambele of 4600 this person returned 4600 which means that we have to subtract it because he returned the goods which means that he's not going to pay it anymore okay so we have to indicate that on 17 there is a credit credit note number 260 okay we record it under data's allowance journal data's allowance journal is a journal that we record all return goods okay this is how you do it because it's on this side we take the balance and we subtract and you're gonna get amount uh, you're gonna get amount of six thousand nine hundred and fifty okay then again on 25 issued invoice number 415 to ten for goods sold this person again he came to us and purchased which means that the liability has increased because we give him what when we issued an invoice simply means that we give that person what inventory liability must go up okay it's gonna go up by 3500 and we record it under the trust journal okay the date is 25 and we indicate that this is invoice 415 okay because it's on the debit side it's a plus which means that we take balance and we add it with this one it's gonna give us 10,400 50 very simple okay and the last one they said issued receipts a receipt simply means that that person is paid okay receipt number 226 on 28 28 is a receipt number 226 okay then in this case they didn't give us amount but they indicated that discount was how much 150 we also have to draft 
a discount a discount all of these therefore going to fall under cash receipt journal okay then the amount now the one that we know is 154 for discount which means that the difference between these two is the one that it must be what a receipt because the amount must be zero here because they said that this person has certainly uh, all his what debt which means that he paid all of it okay if you take 150 minus this one it's gonna give you 10,000 300 which means that this one minus this one is gonna give you 150 and you said 150 minus 150 is give you zero which means that everything is correct so far so guys please if you have been by a accounting solution study guide make sure that you whatsapp us uh, so that you can get your own copy is only 49 rand please make sure that you also subscribe to this channel so that when we upload a new video you are going to get it when you go to grade 11 you are going to get a, a videos even grade 12 you are going to get the videos that are going to assist you to write test and examination so in this question paper we left with one question that i'm going to complete it now 3.2 they said provide two point of advice for bonyuana traders to ensure the customers pay their account on time what can we do so that the customer can pay us on time number one we can tell them that if you pay on time we are going to give you a discount everyone wants a discount obviously most of them they are going to pay us on time we can also tell them that if you don't pay in time we are going to charge interest we are going to charge interest on overdue if you pay on time we are going to give you what a discount so that's how you should answer these two questions so this question paper is for 2022 i did for 2020 and from 2019 if not mistaken from 2019 until 2023 please make sure that you go and check them on great 10 playlist see you on the next one